I got this Mustool MT315 digital microscope sent by Banggood at no cost to try out. Let's get this opened up and put together. I want to see if I can use this for not only visually inspecting circuit boards, but even doing some soldering. It has a 7 inch HD display on it, and it comes with two interchangeable lenses for different magnifications. When the platform is at its lowest, to give maximum space, we have about six centimeters of working height to get a soldering iron in there. It's manually focused. It can save pictures and HD videos on an SD card, or if it's plugged in over USB to a computer, you can use it for live viewing or you can record 720p video. So the power button is here. We get a splash screen and it wants an SD card, which I don't have, so it timed out. So on the side of the unit here is a control for that light. The LEDs are directly in the lens, so when we swap lenses, we're swapping LEDs. But in order to look at a slide, there's another light underneath, and that's controlled down here. But that's what one of these two USB cables is for, to get power from the monitor side. So here I plugged in that USB cable to the jack, then it comes down to the base and powers that LED there to shine up. Okay, now trying to focus. I, I think I'm focusing right on the light through the slide. Now this is the lower magnification lens. Honeybee wing, that's the other slide while we are in focus. But I want to see how this number two lens can look. So trying to hold it down here and turn it. There's not enough torque, but it looks like up here this part of the monitor is a solid piece. So if I hold this and then turn the lens itself, then it comes out and I can put it back in and twist it until it clicks in. That's better. On this higher powered magnification, I had to raise the base up a lot closer to the lens. So there's a closer view of that onion skin. I'm trying to figure out how close I can actually bring the platform up to the lens and still be able to focus. So that's as close as I can zoom in on the onion skin. And I'm seeing artifacts on the camera, but it looks fine in person. So it's probably just refresh rates and stuff. And if I just look at this distance from the slide to the bottom of the lens here, straight on, it's hard to get the camera there. Eyeballing it, it's about one centimeter. So on this lens, that's as far out as I can zoom by lowering the platform and looking at the wing little bits at a time. Then if I keep raising the platform and refocusing, we can get right in on that. And that's about as close as I can zoom in on that. So that's the range of the microscope, whatever these magnification powers actually are. But we're interested in circuit boards, so let's switch this up. Now I'm back to the number one lens, which does not zoom as much. I'm going to take this Uno and put it on the platform. If I put a measuring tape here, so that's nine millimeters, it looks like. And the height from the work surface, that's about six and a half. So that gives enough room. If I want to work under here with tweezers and a soldering iron held at what I feel to be a normal angle, yeah, there's lots of room here to work. Now, looking just at the display, those size of components being relatively low to the board, we can get the actual board surface in focus with the component at the same time, which is very useful. There's a crystal, so again, we're focused on the surface of the board, and we can read the markings, but they're not so sharp. If I adjust the focus to look at the top of the part, of course now the soldering below it is out of focus. So that's looking at a component this tall. So here I turn the brightness all the way up, focused on the solder pads, and I can still see the top of the chip clearly. So we can focus on a component that height at the same time as the surface of the board. And if I just take a blank PCB just to look at, we can look at the silk screen and the surface of the board. And again, I'm seeing on the camera view, like swirls here. 
The display itself, I don't see any of that. If we wanted to maybe try and get in on these vias a bit, I'm going to raise up the platform to bring the board closer to the lens. Now the board is about three centimeters away from the lens. And there's maybe the group of vias we were looking at. And I can't focus any closer with this lens. So I'd have to switch over to that other one. But I don't think we need to really do that kind of analysis. So we're back to a distance about six centimeters away from the lens, down at the bottom of the platform. This is pretty much the most magnification I can imagine needing for doing some soldering. So while we're looking at something, I can go into the menu. There's some settings. We can change how the image is showing. So this is standard. We can do black and white, warm, inverse video, a cool tone, a green hue, and maybe overexposed. If we go into this image size menu, we can get an image 4032 by 3024. And I can also set the video resolution. So I'm at 1080p, 1920 by 1080. So I'm using a Mac. I'm going to plug in the USB cable on the top of this. And on the website for this device, there's links to download a Windows program and phone apps. I haven't tried any of that. And it even says for a Mac, just plug it in and use something that works with cameras. So I'm going to use QuickTime. When I plugged in the USB cable on the top, I chose PC camera and now the display here is off, but it should show up as a USB device. It shows up as USB Phi 2.0 and there's the live display. So if I put this spudger back under the microscope, there it is. Now I'm actually going to do a screen recording. Let's say I'm at this plus sign and I want to move the spudger down to that square pad diagonally below. Because I have to spend so much concentration on just working this close up and moving slow, if there is lag, it's fine. Now I have two resistors here, an 0805 and an 0603. I only have 0805 footprints on this board but I'm going to put the 0603 on one of these anyway. And these clips on the platform may tend to get in the way of me being able to position this. Otherwise, I can see under the platform if I can unscrew these completely, get them out of the way, or just come up with some other platform, lay something else on standoffs here, and then use that as a base. So I'm looking at the computer screen, and I'm going to see if I can do this. So I'm going to try to tack down the parts with one pad and then use tweezers and position the part and get it attached. It looks like my hands are really shaky. I'm just trying to get to that pad. Okay. Oh, while I'm here. See, I have to move so slow and any latency, it doesn't even matter. I'm just trying to zero in on the pad. That is a lot easier than just looking directly at the board and I can't see any detail. So I'm going to grab the 0805 with tweezers, bring it over, reflow, get this in place. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get the 0603, so you can see the size difference of the part. Now, the platform is a little slippery, so again, maybe I could even just put some masking tape over this to make it grip better. But for now, I just need that to stick. Now, to get at those parts, I think I'll rotate the board this way. And again, we're not trying to be perfect here. 
I just want to see that I can do this. And that should work, at least functionally, to get started. It's not going to be NASA quality. But if we take a look, now we've got those two parts soldered on the board. A lot easier than looking at the board at this level. Sure, you can get the tweezers there and you can move the iron there and stuff and get it done. But you can't even necessarily see, did you do a good enough job? You could put it under here and at least you can see, oh, is this one actually needing a little more on this part? I think this is great. The only SD card I had on hand is not class 10, so the device would not allow me to save recorded videos, but I can save screen captures. And in order to get them to look anywhere near as crisp as I see on the display itself, I have to make sure I'm only looking at them on screen in about the same size they would have been on the display, or else they start to look blurry. And I wouldn't be expecting to use the screen capture to be able to zoom in and get more detail, and it may actually be a little out of focus compared to what was on screen, because in order to take the picture, I had to press the button on the display so the lens might move a little bit while I'm trying to take a picture. For the price, I'm impressed with this unit, especially how with the 6cm working height, I'm able to get a soldering iron in there and work without feeling like I'm going to accidentally touch the microscope and melt it. It definitely seems to be perfectly usable for doing surface mount work that I can't see without magnification. It will make inspecting boards a lot easier and looking at tiny parts and seeing the part numbers and recording what I'm doing for making videos. Thanks to Banggood for sending me this to look at. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.